Canon 1, engineers shall hold paramount the safety, health, and welfare of the public and shall strive to comply with the principles of sustainable development in the performance of their professional duties. Engineers shall recognize the lives, safety, health, and welfare of the general public dependent upon engineering judgments, decisions, and practices incorporated into structures, machines, products, processes, and devices. Engineers shall approve or seal only those design documents reviewed or prepared by them, which are determined to be safe for public health and welfare in conformity with accepted engineering standards. Engineers whose professional judgment is overruled under circumstances where the safety, health, and welfare of the public are endangered, only the principles of sustainable development ignored shall inform their clients or employers of the possible consequences. Engineers who have knowledge or reason to believe that another person or firm may be in violation of Provisions 1 of Canon 1. Oh, I need to read that. Ready? Engineers who have knowledge or reason to believe that another person or firm may be in violation of any of the provisions in Canon 1 shall present such information to the proper authority in writing and shall cooperate with the proper authority in furnishing such further information or assistance as may be required. We should seek opportunities to be of constructive service in civic affairs and work for the advancement of the safety, health, and well-being of their communities and the protection of the environment through the practice of sustainable development. Engineers should be committed to improving the environment by adhering to the principles of sustainable development so as to, be, as to enhance the quality of life for the general public. I'm Bill, the engineer who is supposed to be looking over these plans tonight, but happy hour starts in five minutes. They look good enough. Here's the Smith family, just out for a drive. Oh, here's that bridge I approved. Looks like it's not quite up to code. Oh, too bad for the Smiths. I guess I should have checked those plans more carefully, realized they didn't put any rebar in this bridge.